How you doing? Coach John here, just going down through a quick vid on how to be successful in competition, primarily for beginners. Um, it's a question that I, it's the type of question I get in all the time. People want to do comp and they want to know how to do well in the comp. Fairly understandable. Uh, Jiu Jitsu itself can be very complicated for the newbie and for the not so new as well, of course. And how to do well is a question that comes up time and time again. So I think at the start is, of course, the goal, you know you want to do well in the competition, so that's a good starting point. From there, we have to prepare for the event. So number one, main block, preparation. No-brainer when you say it, but you have to train for the competition. Or just train in general anyway. The amount of people that want to do well in a competition and do not train regularly is ridiculous. Like it, It's so many people. You have to train. I'm not talking about crazy amount of training. If you're a beginner, maybe you're training three sessions a week. You know, it's a beginner comp. That's plenty. If you want to do more, do more. It'll help. But you should be aiming to do at least three sessions a week. Getting your technique in. Getting the sparring in. How would you expect to do well in the competition if you're training once a week? Maybe you miss another week, etc. I understand, of course, some people have a lot of life commitments outside of training. So, fair enough. It just wait till you get a good run of training and then go after the competition. So we train. How to get the most out of your training that you do. Because some people, they just show up training. But how to get that, get the most out of the time you spend training. Be mentally engaged. Mentally focused on what, you, what you're doing in the class. We're very lucky to be able to do this martial art. You know, it hasn't been around that long. We're very, very fortunate to get a chance to do such a great martial art. Show up for training. Mentally, 100% in. Do the best you can in every session. Thereafter, feedback loop. Get a journal, write down on it how training went, and that will help straight away getting more back from the training that you've done. Simple enough, you can get like an A4 pad or whatever works for you. I'd recommend at the start to put down your goals. And for me, goals is a funny word. It can, it can get very, a little bit messy. Better to go with is what your dreams, what your dream would be. For me, my jiu-jitsu dream would be to win the majors. You know, the big ones, the Euros, the Worlds, etc. For some people, it could be something simple like they just want to lose a few kilos of weight. They want to make some new friends. They just want to have fun, feel feel healthier. Whatever it is for you, you're not going to be showing anyone else this. So whatever you feel yourself that you want from jiu-jitsu, put it down there. Then, smaller steps, how we get closer and closer to that goal, incrementally. Maybe a bit of a dream board off to the side of that. So if you had something like for me, if it was a world title, you could get a picture of a world title medal, put it in there. For you, it could be whatever suits you. Just put it in so it makes it more real, easier to visualize getting what you want. Then on a day-to-day -day basis, keep, an, keep a track of how you're going day-to-day, -day, how you're getting closer to what you want. And also the training block. Maybe what technique you've done in class that day how it went, how you feel if it works for you, any ideas on it, how the sparring went, how you're getting on in general, and how the training in general is going, how you're getting closer to what you want training was. Then once we have the training, we have, we're doing the training, we're making the most of our training, then we can add in some supplementary stuff. like an ob The obvious one being your diet and nutrition. Way, a huge amount of ways of doing, going about your nutrition. But just an easy general way of doing it is just try not to eat shit food. Easier said than done a lot of the time, but as much as possible, just try to eat good food, train regularly, and we'll get some results. Sleep. Try to stay on top of your sleep. Don't be sleep deprived. Your body won't recover as fast. You won't learn as fast if you haven't got your sleep. <clears throat> and on top of that then, any other stressors. It could be work. It could be anything outside of training that's just putting some stress on you. Try to reduce the amount of stress that you're under. You just feel better, of course, but you'll also perform better and progress faster, which is what we're looking for. <clears throat> your individual jiu-jitsu, so we're still preparing for this competition. What are your strong points? If you don't know your strong points, that's fine. Consult with your coach and have a think about it yourself. Where did you end up a lot of time inspiring where you do well? If you have a strong point, that's what we're going to try to bring to bear on our opponent in a competition as much as possible. 
hard to always pull off, but that's going to be our, that's the foundation of a game plan. What you're good at, making that happen in the competition. If you're again, if you're unsure, that's fine. There's a huge amount of writing game plans. It comes down to yourself, your own personality plays a big part in it your physical traits etc so if you're a beginner and you haven't found what really works well for you yet that's fine just keep plugging away we'll get there so once we've prepared properly then comes the competition we can take a few days before the competition wind down the train in a bit go into a feeling strong feeling ready peaking day of the competition we want to win the competition it's just human nature you're going to want to win the comp. It might be a bit hard sometimes when people aren't used to winning to admit that to other people or even to admit it to yourself. But it's very normal to want to go out there and win the competition. Concentrating too much on winning makes it more difficult to win, unfortunately. Um, what we need to work on, especially at beginner level, is performance. We've done the preparation now we're going to try to perform to the best of our ability on the day. What does that mean? Just leave, putting it all out there. Leaving it all on the mats. Doing the absolute best you can on the day. No stress. Relaxed. And seeing where it gets you. Could be first place. Could be last place. Once you do the best you can do, that's okay. <coughs> Sorry. Also, make sure to relax and enjoy the competition. If you don't enjoy the competition, this is only beginner competition. We want to get all the way up, high level competition. So this is only one of many. If you don't enjoy it, you probably won't be as likely to do other competitions in the future. So enjoy it. Make the most of it. And then afterwards, whatever way it goes, we recap afterwards. Not before. Okay. Once we're done, we can get good experience from the competition, like we do in our day-to-day -day training. Recap, feedback loop, improve, repeat after a competition have a think about how it went anything that can be improved try record it show it to your coach consult with each other and keep plugging on from there it's too often I see people that are going into competitions for the experience of competition you go into the competition to win that's in the back of your mind you want to win in the front of your mind your main concern is performing on the day then from that you take experience not the other way around you don't go in for experience because generally you just do badly and you get a bad experience so that's not ideal go in do the best you can then we get experience improve train repeat and uh, yeah basically that's everything on that experience in the competition plus reflection on it brings wisdom better results next time and just keeps repeating um, if you have any questions on any of that just get in touch get in touch with the Facebook page the YouTube channel whatever Hopefully it can help a little bit. Um, I spent from when I was my early teens to now, so almost almost 20 years, unfortunately, thinking a lot about this stuff. And this is just how I think about it now after like decades of thinking what is the best approach. I always had it in my mind from an early stage because I was coaching myself a lot and I would have been like trying to do stuff that other people around me weren't doing. So I had to just push forward myself and try to figure out a lot of this stuff when looked at a lot of sports psychology and whatnot and for me this is the best way to do it anyway so hopefully it can help you all the best in your comps Oops.